See over here, Padre. This is an interesting wee feeder. This is in many ways what you guys would lead us to believe, possibly the future. Yes. A part with, of the future. With not only in agriculture, but all businesses, labour is becoming a problem, both in the fact that you can't get labour and also the cost of labour. Yeah. So we see a lot of future in automatic feeding with our triomatic system based on a three cubic metre twin auger mixer. And again, height and width of the auger, directly proportional to the height and width of the feeder. And do you think the infrastructure were at that level? In what way? We can handle it? Yes, there's quite a few machines been sold in the UK and Ireland and so what type of machine is this? How's it's This powered? would be... Uh, powered by obviously these motors? It's powered by the motors. It's probably a, a, a wheel robot with a power rail because two of our systems depend on electric power and our third system is a new battery system. Um, the first two systems, the hanging robot, the HP300 and the WP300 which is the wheel robot can handle up to 700 cows. The, th the battery robot, WB300, up to 350 cows. Have you any installed? I had, I had the biggest system in Europe installed in Ireland, but it's now been superseded by one in Italy. Genuinely, in your own viewpoint, with our industry at home, Ireland and UK, do you see this having a place? Yeah. Back it's to what I said earlier on, labour, labour in terms of cost and availability. But feed. obviously the technology is there. The technology is there. You can feed your cows up to 12 times a day. And all the research has shown that feeding little and often increases cow health and increases milk yield in and dairy cows and in the same with beef cattle. And have you used any of these systems local? Oh yeah, you're seeing, you're seeing one this afternoon. So we can go this afternoon you're and seeing see one, one this of these afternoon. systems. Aha! So... We were in the factory, we said we would uh, come out and see a farm locally where the triomatic, which is, we talked about the future, part of the future, this is an example of such a machine. This is a triomatic wheel robot, the same principle of mixing applies as to all, to all our mixers with the horizontal flow, height and width of auger direct proportion to the height of the machine. Here we have a three cubic metre machine mixing. But because it's a battery system, it can handle, only handle up to 350 cows. This system here is in conjunction with the T30 system, where the, the robot is the, the master and controls everything. So, if the, where, where the robot's filling at the minute, it's controlling the amount of cellies it has to come into the mixer. Once the required amount is in the mixer, it goes to the next bunker to be filled up with the next ingredient. The battery system itself, is charged on a rail system because we have electric power here as well. So when the when the mixer is in the position in the kitchen linked to the power rail, it is charging and mixing. When it goes off to feed, it feeds that, up with battery power only. And that's the power rail there under that orange. That's the slide. power rail, yeah. So whenever has the robot got a name? We need to give it a name here. A WB three hundred. No, it needs a name like Donkey. <laughs> Many donkey, <laughs> but it's it's because then here it connects to the orange reel basically. Yeah, automatically that gives it the energy or the electric which will power it during power mixing. Power during mixing and also charge the battery to enable it to discharge as well. Yes, and so this is on a wheel, so it's guided around the yard by two wires which are cut into the ground. Those two wires create a magnetic field. It also means, because of our system, it means that the machine cannot go off on a tangent. It will follow the wires to whatever position the wires are leading it to in the sheds in the house. And on this farm, they have automatic opening and closing doors. That is an extra and as well. You can open the doors with the robot and then she will close them again so all automatically. She's finished getting grass silage in. Yep. She um, put in... I think that was the bin there that had this year's, or had some first cups maybe. I'm not sure, but there's one, two, three, four, five bins in yeah. here 
me as gluten, me as, me as two types of silage. Sure. Yeah. And this farm's operating one of those fancy block cotton. Yeah, it's Trio Master S200, which um, again, back to the situation that I've mentioned before and pit management, leaves a sealed pit to reducing your losses at the pit face. Yes. She's now at the second bunker loading the material and as I said before, the robot has now controls how much she puts into the mixer. So obviously in that situation it's not a lot. But effectively, effectively, it's the exact same principle, only it's getting as power from electric. It's in a small scale and it's been guided around by, by a wire robot. It's just doing the job and it's little enough. And you see this, uh, WB2300 can operate up to 350 50 cows. cows. Yeah. That's a lot of cows. Yeah. And again, this farm here, there's um, solar panels everywhere, and the farmer was saying that he's only using one third of the power that he generates, the other two thirds is being put out to the grid. Yeah. So all of this feeding is self sufficient. It's self sufficient with regards to energy use. Yeah. Do you think? If your yard suited it, and this is a yard that obviously does suit it, do you think it's a wise investment, or is there still <laughs> is there still a place for the tractor and diet feeder combination? If you're and again, it's back to what I said earlier on. It's to do with labour and time and personality or personal choice. If you're paying a man a big wage to feed your cattle, yeah. If you're in a situation like this farm is when, when when you have one yard and also the problem of getting labor and not only that the advantage to your cows with um, automatic feeding you're feeding little and often and you're getting bigger dry matter intakes your cows will do better if you have a situation on the other hand where you have a farm three miles up the road this ain't going to work because it's not going to travel up the road there you would use either your, your self propelled wagon or your trail wagon. Or keep your older wagon and or tidy it up a keep bit. Keep your older wagon. Because there could it. always be a day something breaks down. You know that yourself. No machine built in this world that won't break no. down. No, 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 look, and that's absolutely. Well, look, Patrick, thank you for bringing us out to this farm to see. <laughs> I think it's pretty amazing.